Gary Ewing, how the hell are you? Fine. Gary? Oh, Gary. I'm in Dallas. I want to see you. Who's coming home? Gary! Mama, you're going to come back to the ranch with us, aren't you? Daddy! It's settled then. Darlene Ewing, will you marry me? Well, tell me again the name of this place. Knott's Landing. That sounds nice. What do you think, Valine? House looks same to you? Sure does. Now, ever since J.R. broke you two up, Mom and I, we've been looking for a chance to help out. We're the ones that are grateful to be able to do something for you. Well, this time's the right time, and you tell her that. Oh, and tell Lucy... Wait a minute now. I thought I wasn't supposed to tell Lucy anything. Karen Fairgate, I live over there. Oh, hi. I'm, uh, excuse me, I'm... Oh, Gary, are you back? Oh. Yes, my wife, Valine, and... Uh, hi, Valine. Bob. I do. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Well, uh, we're the um, neighborhood Brady Bunch. Three kids, station wagon, dog. If the dog uh, visits you, call. We'll send over the scoop squad. I know you're being careful, and I think I understand why, but keeping the news of your remarriage from Lucy, I, I don't know. She's your daughter. The marriage was so short the first time around. This time, Val and I have to know it's going to last, because if we bring Lucy here now and we can't hack it... No, we'll make it. It's not going to take us long, neither. Valley, when, when's Gary coming home? Gary and I aren't together anymore. What? I said that Gary and I have separated. Separate? Uh, separated from what? We're separated from each other. Honey, you're going to have to wait until it's read. I don't even have a copy. Wait a minute. I know what's in the will, generally speaking. And generally is all you need to know, isn't it? Gary's coming into money. Big money. Valine's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> now, feel better? <laughs> oh, yes. Keep him out of my showroom. Your showroom? Keep him out of Dallas. What makes you think that I'd want to be in Dallas? You're not Valine. When they were together, he wouldn't come within spitting distance of me. But you're different. You want to be Queen of the Yillings. No. I'll settle for Princess. Fine, you got it. You get the ermines and the jewels, but the crown stays in Dallas. Uncle Gary, who the hell let you off the cul-de-sac? You sure know how to make me feel welcome, John Ross. Just like your daddy. Just surprised to see you back in Dallas is all. From what I remember, you couldn't stand it here unless you were hiding behind Miss Ellie's skirt or a bottle. If Bobby bankrupts the company, you're the one. It could end up with nothing. Bobby is the only one who's ever had my back in this family. I hope for your sake that you're right. But I respect your candor, Sue Ellen. You've certainly come a long way since Miss Texas. Valine and I had a rough patch a year ago, and um, I fell off the wagon. She couldn't take it. She left me. Why didn't you let me know? Honestly? I was embarrassed. I can float you alone. I'd be happy to do it. I just appreciate you backing me on this, Gary. You were always the one brother I could count on. When I look at it from here, I don't know how I was ever able to leave it. Oh, I know. Pam and I were leaving. We were going to surprise you and Val and drop in on you. You're kidding. You love South Fork. Don't you? Oh, sure, but... Well, there's J.R. And Daddy. Well, they got to me, too. Do you ever think about coming back to Dallas? Uh, yeah, I think about home a lot. About you and Bobby. And about J.R. and Daddy. I 
I can understand why you don't want to talk about it. I'm an alcoholic, and I know what that's like. But you can lick it if you want to. Gary, I am not an alcoholic. Well, I'll admit that I, I take a drink on occasion to steady my nerves. But I can stop. You know, I have stopped for months at a time. Yeah, yeah, so did I. Thought I had it beat. Then I took a drink, and another, and pretty soon I was on a rampage. I never realized I was capable of that kind of violence. <laughs> It's foul, and she's so sick, and I can't help her. I can't handle the worst. The worst is if she dies, Gary. You understand that, don't you? Dying is the worst thing that can happen to Val. Uh, Mama, she had something like this a while back. It, it's different, but... Uh, no, no, no. I, I know about it. If you're alive, that's all that matters. Now, you'll see that soon. And so will Gary. Will he? Yes, he will. I promise. Maybe you ought to tell me what's on your mind. Well, J.R., you know that Gary and I have access to those plans. Yeah, what's Gary got to do with it? Well, we could um, take them and duplicate them. You're unbelievable, Karen. Really unbelievable. I'll be back a little later, OK, J.R.? I'm looking forward to it. I truly am. Well, you sure know how to clean out a room. I'll say that for you, Garrett. What is it, J.R.? Why here and Knott's Landing? Why her? What's going on? Oh, a little business, a little pleasure. Mm -hmm. I didn't have much luck with your husband, but I seem to be making out much better with your sister-in-law. I could imagine. I bet you can. I can understand how J.R. can justify some of the things he does. It's for the good of Ewing Oil. I keep thinking there's got to be a better way. Maybe. The question is, is Ewing Oil worth it? And for something old, you're wearing your grandma's wedding dress. And for something new, silly, your daddy and I bought you these for your wedding. <laughs> Mama, they're beautiful. Well, I can tell you who feels best about it. I do. Why's that, Gary? Well, Mama, I know how you've always felt about Southport. Now that uh, Ray's a Ewing, couldn't be in better hands. I can stay in California and know that everything here's fine. Really has taken a lot of strain off us. I'll always take good care of the Southport. You can count on that, Gary. Mama? I just heard about Bobby. It can't be true. It just can't be. It's true, Gary. What happened? What was Catherine Wentworth doing in Dallas? Well, we're, uh, we're not sure about it. And I, I don't think it really matters. He's gone. And I never got a chance to tell him how much I cared about him. Well, Lucy's a fine girl. You're going to be real proud of her, Gary. Yes, I'm sure I will. Ray, I owe you a lot. I know how much care and time you gave Lucy. She always had someone to turn to when I wasn't around. Oh, Bobby, too. You're my son, and I love you with all my heart. But we don't have to be together to keep that love. No. I guess we don't. You've been through a lot, Gary. I can feel a strength in you that you never had before. Well, I don't want your help. I don't want your sympathy. I had one brother, and he's dead. Nobody can ever replace him. Least of all, you two. <laughs> you are wickedly clever, you are. <laughs> all right, I'll make it easy for him. But he's got to ask me himself, you understand? 
Now, how are you going to get him to do that? Well, if Mohammed won't go to the mountain, maybe... You won't to the mountain, too. Go to Mohammed? You are a lovely lady, Valine, but you're a royal pain. Gary has never amounted to much in his life, and I think that's because of you. What? You think small, Valine, real small. Gary's got a noose around his neck, and you're hanging on to the other end, dragging him down. You are a vile, evil man. All right, all right, all right. You're not talking Sid. You're talking power. You're talking adrenaline. And how it surges through your veins when you've got something that everybody else wants. And for a change, Gary, you're talking about winning. Winning like a Ewing wins. I don't want anything for myself. Yes, you do. You want my little brother, Gary, honey. <laughs> what in the... Hi, how's my favorite sister-in-law? Keep your mouth shut, Gary. Stay out of it. Or I'll break you again. Honey, I'm a Ewing. And you can fool Val some of the time, but you can't pretend to me you're not hiding something. Kristen, it takes one to know one, and I'm a hider from way back. Once a bitch, always a bitch. Yes, it has been a long time. It's good to see you, too. You just called me to Dallas to humiliate me. You are just as sadistic as J.R. ever was. I couldn't leave your daddy. He'd leave you. He's always running away. He ran away from J.R. He ran off and left you. He ran off and left me. Mama, please come back to Dallas with me. I don't ever want to lose you again. Well, you were recommended to me by a friend who's... Divorce you handled, so I wasn't sure. Esther McKenzie, you remember her? Uh, McKenzie, uh, yes, of course. Primary fund makes provisions for the four Ewing sons. Each of you, J.R., Bobby, Ray, Gary, each of you will receive the sum of $10 million. Gary? Your father instructed that access to your share be limited for the first four years to use of the interest alone. Well, if you cut a few corners and tighten in your belt, some careful budgeting, maybe even take a nighttime job, you just might slip by on a million dollars plus a year, don't you think? It's not the money, you know that. I almost wish Danny cut me out of the will completely. I mean, leaving me the money this way, in trust, to be doled out like I was a kid. Kind of shows what he thought of me, doesn't it? Right up to the very end. That man is, is full of anger, frustration, maybe even hatred, I don't know. If he ever channeled all that energy, it could, uh, well, it could make my life miserable. So you can take your observation and your limousine and your threats and you get out. I didn't hear anybody making threats. Did you, Abby? Out. Oh, I wish my daddy had lived to see this day. Gary with guts. Finally.